This weekend, the Michigan Lavender Festival, it is taking place in Emily City, state's biggest lavender festival. It's growing every year. I can see why I love lavender. I was just telling you guys, I put it in everything. It's just that smell. Fresh, clean, you love it. So the event director, Shirley Davidson, is here with us right now, along with Trish Dennis, who is the owner of Indigo Lavender Farms. Owning a lavender farm must be the most lovely thing ever, right? Yes, we <laughs> love having the lavender. It's beautiful and we get a lot of interest, um, a oh. lot of excitement in Emily City. The smell is so amazing. So what made you want to start a lavender farm? Well, it's beautiful and who doesn't love lavender, oh. like you said, and um, it brings a lot of excitement to our community, oh, I bet. Emily City. So we were saying you can use lavender in the kitchen, not always something that you would think. I tell you, I put it in my laundry, in my sheets, in my everything. Right. But we've got some cookies here and we're going to make some lemonade. Yes. All right, how are. do we do it? It's very simple. What you're going to do is we in just mason steep. Jar. Um, yeah, in my mason jar. Last Love night it. I steeped lavender buds, about two tablespoons in okay, a cup. Okay, so how do we do that? You're going to take these actual lavender buds mm -hmm. and you're going to steep them in a pot of water. Okay. Close the lid, steep it 10 minutes, and then what you're going to do is strain it into, I did this. Okay. Okay, and then to, for sweetener, you can sweeten it with honey or sugar. Mm. I don't like grainy sugar, so I put the sugar in the hot lavender last night, Smart. shook it up, and it's Very all ready smart. to go. And then we're going to do fresh squeezed lemons and make lavender lemonade. All right, as you're squeezing those, you can use lavender for a lot of other things. Tell me, you brought some samples here. Absolutely. So up here we have fresh lavender from the farm, picked just last night. Oh. This is a Melissa Variety Hid Coat Rosea. We make oils with all of these. Um, you can diffuse the oils in your diffuser at night. It's calming and soothing. Yes. We have the honey lavender candles and some of the other lavender scents. Hand soap. Yes. This is a salt scrub. This that has to be use. a dream. I love these <laughs> salt scrubs. Exactly. And with lavender. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look at that. And the linen spray we use to spray on your pillow That's at night or favorite. in your closet. It is very calming on your pillow, right? It is. It does oh. help people sleep or at least relax That's for fantastic. sure. Fantastic. And of course, I think a lot of us were introduced to lavender when diffusers became so Absolutely, popular and we learned essential this oils. Is the best smell with the essential oils. So this is probably the best way to do this, right? Because exactly. it's not processed, you don't know what else is in there. This. Whew, yep, that's amazing. Exactly. And of course we can cook with it. So as you yes. are pouring us some lemonade on this fine July yes. morning, <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Now it got quite a color to it. Does the purple just develop over time? Yes, it does. There's oh no, my goodness. no dye in there at all. And tell me what else you made here. These are our lavender shortbread cookies and the recipe is on our website. And for that, what mm. I do is I take lavender buds like this and I just grind them real lightly in Those a are mortar and pedestal. I just put a light sprinkling in them and then I uh, make your shortbread recipe like you normally would and just put a pretty few. That will impress your guests because you don't think to use lavender, but it's a really no. good taste. I've tried these before. This is fantastic as well. <laughs> Where can everyone come see you guys for the festival? Okay, the festival is going to be held this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And it's at Eastern Michigan Fairgrounds in Emily City on North Cedar. And then we will be providing a free shuttle over to Trisha's beautiful oh my gosh. Uh, lavender farm. Yes. Oh, amazing. So we'll put all that on WXYZ.com. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. It smells amazing. 